Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at Zoya's Summer 2012 collection. This collection released April 1st, so it should be currently available when this video goes up. These are $8 each, and as you can see, the collection is divided up into two sections. So the first set is the beach collection, and then the second set is the surf collection. So together I guess it's the Zoya beach and surf collection. The beach collection consists of cream, colors mostly except for the green metallic color and then the surf collection consists of all metallic colors. So we'll start with the beach collection and then I'll move on to the surf collection and show you those colors but as you can see the colors sort of line up with each other. They have sort of corresponding shades on each end of the collection. You can purchase these at Zoya online and please also make sure to check the description box for the link to the full review there will be full photographs and swatches on AlluraBeauty.com. Alright, let's go on and see how these colors apply. The first color is Reagan, which is a deep cerise pink. Here is layer one. It goes on very opaquely and smoothly. I don't see any bubbles or unevenness. So it looks like we're just going to need a single coat of Reagan. It's this beautiful deep fuchsia color. Next is Lara, which is a vivid cerise pink. So it's just a lighter shade of Reagan, which we just looked at. Here's the first coat of Lara. Again, very smooth in consistency. And the formula applies very evenly. So again, I'm just going to go with one coat on this color. Third is Shelby, which is a soft pink. Here's coat one. This is a very bubblegum type pink. Same comments as before. Goes on pretty opaquely with just a single coat. Okay, so as Shelby dried, it did become a little uneven, so in the middle of the nail it's not as opaque. I'm going to apply a second coat to build up that finish and make sure it's opaque all over the nail. Next is Arizona, which is a soft coral orange. Here is coat one. And once again, I don't think I'll need to apply a second coat, although I'll wait till it dries to see. But it goes on pretty opaquely and evenly, and you get this very bright and vibrant color. So it did separate just a little bit after drying. So I'm going to apply this second coat. Next is Tracy, which is a sea grass and it has a metallic finish. Here we have Tracy. And unlike all the rest of the colors in this part of the collection, Tracy has extremely finely milled silver shimmers in it. So it gives you a slightly metallic finish. Now this color definitely has unevenness on the first coat. So I'm gonna let this one dry and then I will apply a second one. This color seems to be a little more difficult to work with. Might be a little thicker than the other colors, but you do get this very opaque finish on the second coat. And last is Wednesday, which is a soft aqua. Coat number one. Again, very bright and dense color. A 
upon drawing, this one doesn't become quite as uneven as the other colors we looked at before, but it does separate just a tiny little bit. So I am going to apply a second coat. Okay, so there you have the first part of Zoya's Summer 2012 collection, which is the Beach Collection. My standard for a good polish is that it will go even and opaque in two coats, and if it does that in one coat, then it's a very good polish. If it requires more than two coats, then it's a kind of a difficult polish to work with. So in this collection, I would say that this is a good to very good collection because you have Reagan and Lara, which will apply opaquely with just a single coat, and even after drying, it doesn't become uneven. Then you have Shelby and Wednesday, and I think maybe Arizona, if I remember correctly, that go on opaquely at first, but then upon drying will get a little bit uneven, so most people would want to apply two coats. Wednesday is the least like that, so it only separates a very tiny amount upon drying, so you probably could get away with just a single coat. And then Tracy, which is the only metallic color in this half of the collection, really goes on unevenly on the first coat, and so you have to work with it and definitely apply a second coat to get a nice even finish. These are great summer colors. I love this orange color here, Arizona. Orange is very in for summer this year. It's probably in for a lot of summers when that season and the fashions change and, you know, orange is usually very on trend for summer. But it's a great color nonetheless, and then, of course, these are very summer colors. I would say Tracy is probably my least favorite just because of the formula and because the color isn't doesn't remind me too much of summer, but that's totally a personal preference. You don't have to wear the colors that are supposed to be designated for summer or spring. I think those kinds of rules are just really silly. Just, if you feel like wearing black, when it's summer, go ahead and wear black when it's summer. If you feel like wearing purple when it's winter or bright pink, then go ahead. No one should be able to tell you that you have to wear a certain color or a certain anything when it comes to makeup, fashion, or anything. Just do what you feel comfortable with and what you like to do. Okay, anyway, so getting back on topic, I think this is a good collection and I think my favorite would be this orange color and probably my least favorite would be this sea green color. Okay, so let's look at the second half of this collection, which is the Surf Collection. First up is Rory, which is a lotus pink, and it has a bunch of tiny silver shimmers in it, giving that metallic finish. Here is coat one. Goes on very evenly and very opaquely. And it has very intense metallic finish. Next is Carly, which is this medium deep purple color, again with that metallic finish. Here is the first coat, again extremely pigmented, very opaque finish and you get a very metallic sheen on the surface. So I'm just gonna leave it at one coat. Next is Kimber, which is a magenta pink, and this one actually has gold shimmers in it. The first two colors had silver shimmers. Here is the first coat. This is a beautiful, almost strawberry-like color. And again, very opaque, very even, Lots of shimmer in there. Then we have Murda. This is a coral orange with a silver metallic finish. Coat number one. Exact same comments I have. Bright color, even, and opaque finish. Now just remember that with these colors, it is going to be a little more difficult to remove because these, these um, shimmers really stick to the skin. Next is Meg, which is a mermaid green. It has, again, a silver metallic finish. Here is layer one. 
And again, I really just don't have much else to say. The formula for this part of the collection is very consistent. And it makes application pretty quick. And last is Zuza, which is an aquamarine, and it has a silver metallic finish. And here we go with layer number one. And it looks like this layer is pretty opaque. Yep, if I were applying the polish, I really wouldn't apply a second coat. Alright, so there you have the second half of this collection, which is the surf part of the collection. I was expecting the cream formula to be superior to the shimmery side of this collection. I'm not sure why I thought that I just sort of had that thought in my mind going into seeing these colors but actually I'm more impressed with this formula because all of these colors very consistently go on opaquely with just one coat. Now when looking up close and taking photos I did see that some of them it's not that they are uneven, they are all very opaque, but you can see a little bit of texture. So the texture isn't completely consistent, but they are very opaque colors and you really don't have to apply more than one coat for any of these colors. Again, very appropriate colors for spring. My personal favorite is this one. It's just that beautiful golden shimmer in there. Usually I lean towards silvers, so things that have silver shimmers as opposed to gold shimmers, but the pairing of this color with the gold shimmers is just really, really stunning and beautiful. So there you have Zoya's Summer 2012 Beach and Surf Collection with a mixture of cream finishes and metallic finishes. I really like this collection. Some of the cream formula colors do need two coats, but overall the formula, as is typical of Zoya, is very, very good and and a lot of these colors, the majority of these colors, only need a single coat. Again, please check the links in the description box for the full spectrum of photographs and swatches on the blog so you can see the colors up close. Alright, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. See you in the next one.